Hi, welcome to Monday Minutes. My name is Liam. My name is Francis. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't your Monday Minutes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Fine. Bye. This week, we have another wonderful 2411 release to talk to you. And this week, we're going to focus on the ERM. So Nick, there's quite a few enhancements that we're going to see in the ERM module for this release. Some of the big ones are going to be additional fields mm -hmm. in agreements, licenses, and packages. And Nick, when did we start adding additional fields in Koha? I mean, it's been a while. What we first added it to, I think, the serials module, and we've kind of expanded it out from there to allow it to work in different places. And so in this release, we're going to get it in the ERM, which is going to be really great for helping people just to be able to keep track of things and put in the information that they need to keep all of their subscriptions and electronic resources managed. <laughs> Perfect. So you'll notice here when we go into licenses, as I scroll down a little bit, you'll see an additional fields um, attribute that's added here. And we added an example here as an expression. So an expression in relation to licenses allows you to track things like, does it allow ILLs? Does it allow it to be used with course reserves and things like that? Now, how do we set up these additional fields? You will need to have permission to go into administration and down in your additional parameters, you'll come over to the field, additional fields. You'll see three new options here, licenses, agreements, and packages. So this is the three new enhancements that you'll see within the ERM. And for example, if we come into ERM agreements, you can come in, grab that new field, and then add your values in. So Nick, talk to us about the two options here with repeatable and searchable. Um, repeatable, you know, that's an easy one. That just means that you can have more than one value set for this. So you'll have a little plus button after the value where you can click add and add several copies of it. Searchable is just going to be whether it's included in the searches for the, for the ERM. Um, there's already pre-built searches there and it's just going to either include this field or not include this field when you check that box. Perfect. And as always, you have the ability to connect it to an authorized value category. So if you do want that controlled vocabulary, um, so staff can select that information when they're adding the additional field, this gives you all of the options. That's great for when you need a standard value across all of your things. You can just set that up. Again, in the administration, you'll need permission. Okay. So the last thing we're going to see is under e-usage, you'll see the ability for data providers. In data providers, there's a new field that has been added, and that's called service platform. Um, some vendors do require the um, value for the platform to be entered um, in the system. So now you'll see a new field there that says service platform, um, and that will allow you to enter in that detail. Yeah. And your vendor should tell you if this is something they require. Um, we're just adding support for it in Koha. All right, awesome. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.